This is going to be a quick introduction to the Instant Lighting Kit version 3. Now the first question you must be asking yourselves is, if I already own Instant Lighting Kit versions 1 and 2, why should I buy version 3? Well, the only reason to buy version 3 is simply because it gives you additional options. Instant Lighting Kit 3 does not replace versions 1 or 2, it is complementary to them. Which essentially means that if you buy version 3, you get an additional 36 environments that you can use to light your scenes. Let's take a look at what comes with the kit. I'm going to click on the Kits button to open the Kits popover, and I'm going to click on this icon to open the Instant Lighting Kit. And I think just looking at the icons themselves gives you an idea of the benefits of having all three versions of the kit. Because of course the icons themselves are rendered using the corresponding environments in the kit. So if we look through all the three different instant lighting kits, you can see straight away what a range of different lighting conditions you can create if you have all three. But let's take a look at version 3 in action. I'm going to dismiss these two popovers and I'm going to run preview. Then I'm going to click on the control locator to expose the controls and let's start playing with them. So let's just rotate the environment and see how the lighting changes correspondingly. Let's try the second environment and just keep playing with the controls just to give you a quick overview of how you can quickly scroll through all of the different environments and just try out the different permutations until you find something that you like. And of course you can control things such as the hue and saturation of any coloured environments. So in this case I'm just going to rotate the hue to create a slightly bluer environment and let's also reduce the saturation just to make it a little bit more subtle. Let's try the next environment. This time I'm going to increase the saturation slightly. And let's also play with the rotation control just to spin these lights around. And as you can see, you can very quickly create interesting permutations. Let's carry on cycling through these environments. I'm going to reset the saturation and the hue. And let's increase the brightness in this case. Carry on scrolling through the options. And so you can see. Simply by playing with the controls, we're able to create all sorts of different and interesting moods for our shot. And I think this is looking particularly nice, so I'm going to dismiss the controls. And having had a look through the studio environments, let's explore the other options. I'm going to open the kits popover once again and click on this icon to open the Instant Lighting Kit, and I'm going to double click on the interiors to load that preset. And you can see preview updates as I do this, so I'm just going to dismiss these two popovers, once again open the controls, and let's have a play around with them. And once again, this is looking particularly nice. And I really enjoy this quite playful workflow. You're simply just experimenting with the controls to see what you get, and you're always going to find lots of different combinations that seem to work pretty well. And simply by tweaking the controls, you're able to instantly change the mood of the shot. And the interiors are usually my favourites actually because they often have multiple and interesting light sources with lots of complex reflections and also little dashes of colour here and there that bring a lot of life to a render. And so what I do when I'm trying to light a shot using the Instant Lighting Kit is I'll just have a quick play through all of the different permutations and just make a note of the ones that I like in case I want to return to them. Alternatively, I might set up some render passes with some of the different options stored inside those. And that means that I'll usually end up with five or six different options and I can simply pick the best one for this particular shot.
And as you can see, it's actually very hard to make your scene look bad when using the instant lighting kit. You're always going to be able to find options that work well for your shot. So now that we've seen the interiors, let's have a look at the exteriors. And once again, you can see preview updating in the background. So let me just dismiss these two popovers. And once again, let's open the controls and take a look at the options. And the nice thing about having all the different types of environments from studio to interiors to exteriors is that each category creates a whole different set of moods for you to choose from. And once again, you can see there's just so many really beautiful looking options. And if you ever need to light a scene really quickly, you can always rely on the instant lighting kit to deliver beautiful results really quickly. And what's more, it's just really good fun to use. And it's not just useful for product shots, you can use it for any kind of scene where you need to create believable and beautiful lighting. This could be architectural renderings or animations or anything of the sort. If you want to know more about the Instant Lighting Kit, I recommend you go and watch all of the other videos that I've produced about it, which you can find on the product page for the Instant Lighting Kit on my website. So once again, thank you for your support and thank you very much for watching.